what? A Jim Beam product I've never had before? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bourbon Bites. I'm Clifton, and today we're reviewing Jim Beam Signature Craft 12 Year. So this sample actually comes to us from my friend and patron of Bourbon Bites, Patrick Sarkey. Thank you so much, Patrick, for sending me this. I've heard of this. I know that it's, there's a series of these Signature Craft releases. This bottle comes in at around $40 retail. Um, it is 43% ABV. Um, that's very similar price to the old Jim Beam single barrel, but that one is 94 proof, and I'm not sure the age on that. It's definitely younger than 12 years, but I'm so excited to finally get it to it, and maybe I've been missing out on something all along. I don't know. So on the nose, this really comes across as a dusty beam. It kind of has that like dusty funk, um, a little bit of, I guess I would say mustiness, but it's like a sweetness that goes along with that. It's, it's really, really nice on the nose. There is some oak, but it's almost, it's different than typical Knob Creek like level oakiness. It's more of like, I guess more of like the musty kind of oak, more of like a, your grandma's pantry or something like that. It's, it's very similar to that. And it's definitely grain for it. I, I don't know the mash bill of this specifically, um, but I imagine it's a pretty high corn mash bill like most of their products are. Yeah, that's that's actually one of the most interesting nose I've ever had on a Jim Beam product that wasn't a dusty bottle. So I'm really curious to see how this tastes. Cheers, Patrick, and cheers to all my bourbon bites. I would say it drinks pretty similar to the nose. The like vintage kind of note that I was getting on it is less prominent on the palate. It does drink like a low proof whiskey. However, that doesn't mean that it's lacking any flavors um, that you typically associate with low proof whiskeys. Even though it is 12 years old, I feel like it's missing that really rich oaky flavor that you get on like a Knob Creek, even the small batch Knob Creek. When I go back to the nose, now that I've tasted it, I do get a bit more cinnamon than I typically do um, with Jim Beam products. Almost like a cereal that's like gone a little bit stale, but like you still eat it because it's not bad. I guess I get some similar notes to that, um, but if you didn't tell me this was a Jim Beam product, I probably wouldn't know, other than the fact that it nosed just like a vintage Jim Beam, which was really, really cool. Yeah, it's, it's very light, but not in a fruity way. Normally, like, lightness I associate with, like, a fruity or, like, a um, floral note, but it's not that. It's more of, like, a light cinnamon um, with some vanilla sweetness on it. Very, very drinkable, and I do feel like the, the finish does lack a bit. There's there's really not much going on there. Again, it's a 43% alcohol, 86 proof whiskey, so I, I'm not expecting too much, but I think what makes it interesting is it's, like, a completely off-profile for a Jim Beam product. And I really like that. I like that this is kind of like an experimental release. And I really dig it. And it's not quite up my alley in terms of what I seek out in Jim Beam. I love that deep, dark, rich oakiness that you get on like a Knob Creek single barrel and nuttiness, of course. This, I mean, I don't get much nuttiness in general, which is so odd because that's such a signature Jim Beam thing. I mean, when I'm looking for it, there's like a little bit of peanuttiness there, but it's really, really faint. And again, I, I would not guess as a Jim Beam product. So in terms of recommendation, I give this kind of a sideways thumbs up. I, I don't say that this is like, you know, a must have for a fan of Jim Beam. However, if you are a fan of Jim Beam and you want to try something a bit different, I think the Signature Craft series is really worth exploring, um, especially if you have a chance to get a sample of it or try it at a bar. I, I guess I wouldn't say pick up a bottle of it if you hadn't tried it before and you didn't know what you were expecting. Again, it's a nice whiskey and I, I think if you have a chance to try it, definitely do. So thank you again, Patrick, for sending me this sample. Um, always love trying a new product, especially when it's from Jim Beam, um, one of my absolute favorite distilleries. Let me know in a comment below if you've tried any of the Signature Craft series. I know they have a few different bottles. Some of them I think get really, really experimental. So I'll put a link down below where you can find more info on that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Check me out on Patreon if you want to support the show. I really appreciate it. And until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites, whiskey reviews with a retro twist. I'm Clifton, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.